Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where we're gonna hop right back into the cult scene. Thank you for waiting. Can I? Can't you see I'm busy? Okay. Why am I doing this? This is bad. I feel like it's a bad thing to do. Don't put it on there, you fool! No, please don't. Please don't. Please, please, Cassandra. Cassandra, please, no. Please don't do it. You can't make it whole again. <laughs> ah, you had the last piece. Now it is ready. Every time I see it, it calls to me and sings of power. Does it call to you like it calls to me? It does. It's impressive. Yes. Show your reverence. What we have now is everything. Ira has blessed me. My great warrior is leading our army to victory. Can you imagine the pride yeah, I what? feel? Our champion will destroy our enemies before they even think to me. Mark my words. I feel like I shouldn't have put that piece on there. <gasps> it's Alexios! It is! It is Alexios! Oh yeah, I did that. Elpinor is dead. One of you is a traitor. The artifact will expose. Alexios, out! No! Everyone. Notice that it was whole. I can't remember what my mask looked like. Is that my, was that me? I can't remember. Oh, they, they're not, all of them are different. If all of them have to be tested, just throw them all onto it. Don't, why are you doing it like this? You. Is that me? I can't tell. It must be. It is Alexios! Alexios! <laughs> He's gonna be pissed at me because I look like I killed him. What am I gonna do now? Yo, what up, brother? Who are you? Go! Yo, get up here! Hopefully somebody else has actually betrayed him. Oh! Oh, oh, unpleasant. Alexius, 
Wow, look at that face. He just lied. He just lied. He knew the traitor was me, so he picked somebody at random and killed them. And nobody noticed me leaving, and also I randomly, luckily, happenstancely got a piece of it back? Of course he doesn't know who I am, I guess, that's, unless he saw the same thing and figured out what it was. He's, he was a baby. You should probably take those off now. Oh, you're alive. Yeah, well, uh, things have happened, my guy. I actually did not expect Alexios to be alive. I... I can't... Like, I, I literally... Like, it was a baby tossed over the edge, and the Oracle said that Alexios had to die, and I didn't, but that somehow our bloodline was cursed anyway because our father wasn't the Spartan guy. Well, I don't know, we're like, we're like demigods or something? There were people in the temple. I couldn't see their faces. They... Herodotus. They control all of the Greek world. Everything. I see. It's worse than I thought. There's more. They have a weapon. What kind? soldier stronger and more ferocious than any I've ever seen Herodotus it's my and they're brother. using my brother as a weapon how did he survive we need to get to Athens Athens we need to find my mother my clothes spear uh, of course my spear! Yeah, where's my spear, Herodotus? The cult of Cosmos called my brother Demos. He used an artifact to see my memories. Cassandra, the man I serve. We must tell him what's happened before it's too late. Pericles is gonna maybe die. You've heard the name Pericles before. Pericles is the great general leading the Delian League against the Spartans. They say he's ruthless. We aren't leading the League against anyone. Pericles is a man of peace. This war was thrust upon him. Upon us all. A general who doesn't want war? Not likely. Save your doubts. He is working to end this war. We all are. If there are forces colluding against him, he must be warned. We have to go. To Athens? They're hunting my family. My mother. I have to find her. You carry the blade of Leonidas. Act like it. If Pericles what? doesn't put an end to this war, we're all as good as dead. Including But you don't your understand. Mother. Fuck your yeah. war. The cultists are exterminating my family. You have a duty to no, the No, I don't. World. We both do. Pericles must be. Well, born. then you go. Bye bye. She is my mother. What would you have me do? He just told you already. If there is one place where we can find information about your mother. It is in Athens. No, you're lying! How? Out your teeth! Pericles surrounds himself with the brightest minds in Athens. Which is to say, anyone. Yep. In Athens, you can fulfill your duty to your family. What are the brightest minds gonna do? But before we can go, I need you to meet me at the Lion of Leonidas, at Thermobile. Leonid Leonidas? Why? Yeah. Why? There's something I need to know. Something that may help us take down this cult and save your mother. You've proven I can trust you, but let's make it quick, Irodotos. First, Thermopylae. Then we go to Athens. Thermopylae. So I was kind of hoping the cult thing would be. I'll make sure every single one of these cultists dies by hey, my hands. Hey, we found another historical location. 
Oh, the cult of cosmos, evil on earth. Nice, nice. A uh, secret organization. It's the Illuminati. Seek clues across Greece to unveil the identity of all the members of the cult. And put in. So this is a separate thing I can do where I hunt them down, like individually. Awesome. Ooh. From the cultist menu, use new clues to unveil cultists, track them, and eliminate the cult of cosmos. Uh, hunt all sages to reveal the ghost. I found, I found a clue? Oh, because I was listening to them talk. Holy cow. Wow, the DLC stuff is at 35, like you only have to be level 35 to be doing the newest DLC stuff. These are the sages, though. The sage is a spy. Oh, 17? That's not bad. And I'll get all the pieces. Oh, that's right, because, uh, it's- Okay, so I had to have put the piece in because that was the piece that was held by Elpinor. And if I hadn't put it in, then it would have been really suspicious. Okay. Oh! We've- we've- uh, okay. This is like- The cult is nothing without me. Even the gods cowered in my wake. Kneel or die. A god, a warrior, a hero for cosmos. This was the image Demos conveyed, yet behind the heroism was an aching pain from a lifetime of suffering. Flung from the cliffs of Mount Tegadios, raised and tortured by the cult, forced to fight or die, the humanity in Demos had died long ago. What remained was a weapon, a glorious, deadly weapon that even the cult could not control. I can find Demos, right? I can find Alexios? Where is he on the map? I'm gonna save him. I'll just kick him and be like, Brother! You fool! Wake up! As the ship built in time, one lesson of no other. Waging a war is always more profitable than winning one. He said to make a fortune from the tragedies of war until Demas made a bloody, horrifying example out of him at the cult's mysterious... D D yeah, he did. I didn't kill him. I killed Elpinor. Uh, destroying the Chosen's bloodline. So they... So... So Demos... Yes, that's right. So Alexios doesn't know that they're hunting down his bloodline because his bloodline's the only thing that could stop him. But I, I assume. Oh, okay. I could unveil your location. Who needs democracy when Thrakmi rules the world? Uh huh. The cult sought out what was old, looting tombs and ruins like petty grave robbers. Few knew what they were looking for. With the looting done, they tasked Medeus of Argos with destroying all traces of these ancient sites from history. By day, he was known simply as a, um, he was known simply as a wealthy if ruthless banker. By night, everything Medeus touched turned to fire. So he's just this guy's first on my list. He's destroying ancient archaeological sites. I'm killing that guy so hard, just you wait. Uh, help. Oh, okay. So I don't know, but I know that they have a quarry and a slave operation in Attica. Help people nearby and they'll help me figure out who that person is. So Tara's in her warehouse. Who are you? Oops. Cosmos demands to know the secrets hiding in the Ooh. hearts of men. So I simply cut them open. Okay. So as many eyes saw all. Idle sailors trolling the sea, beggars making a begging for coin. All might have been her agents and all were deadly. Through this network, there was hardly a conversation that went unheard by her ears or an opportunity that went unseen by her eyes. She's got beautiful eyes. The Chimera. Okay. What's one life worth without a thousand others behind it? One, where some knew passion or love or warmth, the Chimera only knew cold calculation. The world was hers to exploit, and exploit it she did in the name of Cosmos. Her next target would be the artifacts hidden away in an ancient forge. Her slaves would unlock its hidden secrets or face her wrath. Okay, she'd die also very quickly soon. 
The centaur. Slaves understand you better when you carve your rules into the backs of their heads. That doesn't make any sense because they can't see the back of their own heads. The centaur of Uboa pledged to Cosmos the wealth amassed from his copper trade to trade in copper. However, one needed slaves, many slaves. And so the cult sent the ships of lost souls to his mines and to their doom. You also die soon. Very soon. Uh, Fidesz, the sculptor is being targeted by the... Okay, so that person that was sitting there tied up wasn't the artist. That was some sort of soldier. And then the cult couldn't kill this artist. Enjoys the company of Hetere. I don't know what that is. I assume it's a prostitute or something. The nation treasure in Locris 4 contains a clue. Uh-oh. How do I know that? Do I just, or does it just give me a hint of clues in the beginning? I can buy this one in Corinthia. Oh ho! I can unveil this one. Bellos the Beast of Sparta! Sparta! You traitor! Chaos is our greatest strength! Traitor! Sailing towards the shores of Pekfia, Pef, Pefka, Pefka? Screams could be heard softly at first, then louder, then deafening. These were the sounds of men and women gasping for their last breaths in the fighting pits before the beast snuffed them out. His endless training in the name of Cosmos rendered him bored, but he couldn't know that a real challenger would soon meet him there and finish his reign as champion. Yeah, well, you know, if nothing else, because, oh, he's a traitor. Rogue cultist is a rogue cultist. What? Like, one who's not actually a cultist? Okaitos, the great station in the temple. Also, that guy previously did not, his height actually grew and his width grew. Like, they're using like base models. And then like when you reveal them, their actual body models change. The fight is only over when I am the last man left standing. Okay, brutal, brutish, horrible. These are the kindest words ever used to describe Oketos the Great. The truth was that he was much, much worse. How fitting, then, that he was tasked with training young mercenaries to become guards and soldiers for Cosmos. Those who did not meet his standards of baseness made fine sacrifices instead. So, is this the guy that was torturing people? Also, is there any way I can save the Oracle? Like, I feel a little weird about that. You're hiding in a wolf den? Worshippers of the bloodline. Wait, 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 so we've got worshippers of the bloodline, and we've got heroes of the cult, and eyes of cosmos. So each one's different. Silver vein, that's where the money comes from. Delian League. Oh, so that's, these are the Athenians, maybe. Peloponnesian League, okay. Are we gonna have some Persians? Gods of the Aegean Sea. So she worships the bloodline. Okay. Asterion is sailing the sea around Andros. I spent 20 years at sea only to realize the cult was my home. Uh -huh. After Asterion lost his parents to the Persian invasion, his wife to a tempest, his children, his friends, his shipmates, he no longer sailed for love of the sea, but a desire to avenge their deaths. But how many dead were left to float in Asterion's wake? Hundreds? Thousands? And when, when, when would those dead rise up, avenge themselves, and put him down to sleep with those he loved? So his is kind of a sad story. And it looks like I'll be getting a piece of the artifact if I do all this. Like, for every person I kill, I get an artifact. But who's the ghost? Oh, so when I hunt down these individuals, will it make it easier to take on their sages, their corresponding sages, or no? Because Alexios is by himself. Interesting. This is cool. I like this a lot. This and like the mercenary mechanic kind of remind me of um, blah, 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 blah. what's the game? Um, Mortar. 
the new, uh, the last two games for the Lord of the Rings. Oops. The music's creepy. I'm gonna need some good, uh... Some good companions for this. Holy moly. Odyssey chapter. Oh my gosh. H is just... We should definitely do that one next. No way, no way. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. We want to go, oh, that's a new thing. What is this? Hunt the Cult of Cosmos. So we have uh, this one. Uh, the cultists brought tragedy to Cassandra's family and that should bring them bloody justice. Interesting. Okay. So is Alexios always my younger brother or does it switch? It must switch. I should start Alexios just to see, actually. I guess I could look it up too, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's go really quick and grab this. I have no idea how this is going to be edited, to be honest. I was kind of hoping that, that things would be a little shorter in there, but apparently not. I didn't defeat him though, my brother did. I'm not a kill stealer. I won't steal that kill. I'll do the others though. I'll free you, Alexios. I worry, though, that his only freedom lies in death at this point. There's no way he could go back to the boy or the man that he could have been, you know? I have- I just find it really difficult to believe that our mother didn't, I don't know, go down and look for us, but something had to have happened. There was some sort of- This loading screen is taking too long and it's freaking me out. Um... So there was some sort of fight or something. Really hurts go away. Tell you what, you have to scare it away. If you roar like a lion, it'll run. <laughs> Good job. Now run. You're adorable! Home. Oh my gosh! He's good with kids. You must be a physician. Yes, I'm Lycaon. You must be a Mystios. Are you here for treatment? No, but I like yeah, we're gonna flirt with Put everybody. Will I have to roar for you, too? <laughs> Sometimes the best medicine I can give my patients is a dose of hope. I take it you're not in need of care. He's adorable. I'm healthy as a horse. He's adorable. You look strong and prepared for anything. My patients need mandrake herbs. There's a part of them That's growing nice. by the stream southeast of here. Are you too busy to pick them? Too chewy. <laughs> the stream. I'll pay you generously for your trouble. You know how to talk to Mystios. <laughs> Is that all you want? The mandrake herbs? For now. Bring them back to me, and I'll pack He's up them beautiful. to my patients. Then we'll see. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bring you the herbs. You said they were southeast of here. Yes. By a little stream northeast of Kira. The flowers haven't bloomed yet, but the leaves are a distinctive gray-green. Thank you. I unlocked it. I ignored, or I ignored, blah, blah, I unlocked an engraving. I don't know if it was by talking to him or what, but, uh... Wait, Herodotus is way over there? I thought it said it was not that far. Oh, there's another... Uh... Is that... Have I been there? No? I want to go talk to the daughters of Artemis. Um... Oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. I thought it said it was like 400 steps away. I'll definitely have to go talk to Herodotus, but first I want to go grab this Art Artemis quest and go up here to this undiscovered locale. And I want to help out that cute healer guy! It's more that he was just adorable with children, and even though I shouldn't let it get to me, I did. I did! I'm weak! 
when you see somebody who's good with kids, you just kind of go, Aww. <gasps> Even if you're not interested in kids or anything, you see somebody being nice to kids and you're like, you're a good person. You know? You're just a good person. Dang, I really do. I, I thought that by asking too many questions, I'd get pegged as, as not knowing enough. Like, why would you be, why would you be inducted into a cult without, oh, oops, without yeah. knowing anything about them? You know what I mean? And Demos, Alexios, is a pretty big deal. So I thought that was kind of dumb to be able to ask that question. That it was like a trick, right? That it was a trick, and then if I asked it, I would get in trouble. Don't you dare make me fall off this. Don't you dare make me fall off this. I'm gonna be all pissed off at you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. <gasps> yeah, don't bother me. I'm busy. I'm busy trying to synchronize with this temple. Which looks like it's been kind of left to rot. Actually, unfortunately. Are you gonna you're gonna actually make me get up on there? <laughs> this is beautiful. But I should have known more about what what I don't know, maybe that was the whole point is that you weren't really supposed to know who famous was. I may have messed that up a tad. I hope you don't mind, Huntress. You! What are you doing Daphne? here? Daphne? What are you doing? This is sacred ground. You should not be here. Well, either leave I love you. what you want. Who are you? She has the oracle thing on her head. Amistheos. I'm not here to start trouble, but if that's what you want, I'll end it. Your name? I'm Cassandra. Some called me the Eagle Bearer. I am Daphne. Leader She's so buff! And you are maybe exactly who I've been. Me? Oh. And who would that be? A warrior, a hunter, one who straddles our world and the gods. One who will meet my child. She's beautiful. She's super buff. I'm definitely when you put the it one. Like that, how could I not accept? There's a boar not too far from here. Kill it, then bring it Your temple's kind of fallen down, you want though. want me to kill a like, pig? Like, kind of run down. This is no ordinary boar. Let's see if you are worthy of my challenge. Kill it, and bring me the pelt. I'll be waiting with your reward. What kind of reward? <laughs> Did you get lost? No. I'll return with your boar pelt soon enough. I was just checking. Anyway, I think I've got enough to... <laughs> to at least cut this into two parts? I don't know. I don't know. It's been just over an hour. I don't know. No. This got weird. Things got weird. I didn't know when to stop the recording. So here we go. But this seems like a good spot. Let's go right here. Up here seems like a great spot. Your temple has kind of fallen into disrepair. I guess it's still sacred ground though, right? Well, cool beans. Thank you all so much for watching. A lot happened there. If I messed up or if I missed a piece of information by not asking the questions at the beginning, please feel free to let me know. Also, I'm sorry if I'm slurring. It's late. But yeah, if I kind of messed up there, because it wasn't very clear that they... I thought they were talking about me the whole time. Until it, I looked at, the, looked at the top left corner and realized they were talking about the other guy. And that somehow they were keeping things a secret from him. 
I don't, but are they keep, is the ghost the actual leader? And is the ghost the one controlling Deimos? Or are they controlling everybody else? Or is it kind of separate? You know, like everybody else is kind of like doing their own thing. And they're like, yeah, yeah, for Cosmos. But it's actually like not really. It's just for their own gain. And then Alexios just kind of is like a tool. Um, but my poor brother! Oh my gosh, that was... How did a baby survive that? How did a baby survive that? Unless the baby landed on the man that I tossed down there with him. There's no way. There's no way the baby could have survived unless something crazy happened. Unless he was protected by the gods. I guess there's that. That, that, that's usually what happens in stories like this. But what gods? Apparently he's supposed to bring, like, death and destruction or something. I don't know. But the thing is, if they hadn't tried to kill... This is the problem in especially Greek tragedies. Like with Odysseus... Not Odysseus. Um, Freaking Oedipus. Like, if Oedipus hadn't tried... If, if Oedipus' parents hadn't tried to fight his destiny because like it was predicted in the beginning that he was gonna kill his father and wet his mother and then they're like no we can't let that happen so they try to stick him out and let him die of exposure but he's taken pity on by like a shepherd and he lives and then he basically does his whole thing so it's like the, the the moral of like the greek tragedy in that sense was that fighting against your destiny is pointless is hopeless um but there's another message that's like what if you accept your fate then by doing so are you actually like do your choice matter or does like in the end no matter what choices you make will you reach the same outcome or if somebody hadn't tried to interfere in your destiny or if you hadn't tried to interfere in your destiny would things have turned out differently because by trying to stop the fate assigned to uh, oedipus his parents actually fulfilled it um, otherwise it probably wouldn't have happened. I mean, it, maybe it could have happened in a different way, but probably not. But with the same thing. With the Oracle here predicting that Alexios needed to die because Alexios was going to be some evil power for evil. Was that prediction only because... The prediction in and of itself was it self-fulfilling because the, by predicting it... The Oracle was the one who made it so. By by predicting everybody's, like, not even predicting everybody's reactions, but basically, like, as soon as the Oracle said it and the people took the action to prevent it, um, it, 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 it sealed the original prediction in, into, into time, basically. Like, Alexios, if he had grown up with us and we had been happy family, like, he wouldn't maybe he wouldn't have become this thing that he is now he may have become a, they may have tried but they wouldn't have had him from a baby and molded him from a baby probably you know i mean things could have happened he could have been kidnapped whatever 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 but i don't know it's just like if you guys had just raised the children yourselves these things may not have happened but by, 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 by predicting it, did the oracles in these situations seal the fate of the peoples they predicted? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just speaking in circles at this point, and most people probably turn this off. Anyway, I apologize. It's an interesting little philosophical conundrum. Nothing really more, you know, hard fact or anything. But it's interesting kind of go in circles sometimes but anyway i'm so sorry for the ramble thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you're enjoying as much as i am and i hope to see you in the next one